Hello, uh, welcome to the regular advocacy and outreach uh, special interest group meeting. Uh, today we have a special event. Uh, we have uh, guests from Commit Street, uh, and uh, we will have a discussion about uh, uh, comics uh, for Jenkins. Um, we have Alisa Tonko on the call, and I guess Alisa could uh, introduce everyone. Yeah, so um, be, uh, so I we have um, Thomas from Commit Strip on the call, um, Daniel Beck, Buffy Grash, uh, Mark Waite, Marky Jackson. Hey, Marky, thanks for joining, and Oleg, of course. Um, so just to give you some context, um, when we were in DevOps World Lisbon, I reached out to. Um, to, to Thomas and I said, you know, you've always been a part of our Jenkins family um, in pretty much most of the cities that we've been to for DevOps World, Jenkins World. Um, and so we wanted to expand that effort. Um, you know, Thomas and Etienne has always done murals and our t-shirt designs. So we want to keep that love going. Um, so we, I've asked Thomas to perhaps come up with a Jenkins comic for us, um, you know, probably more often than just once a year. Um, but that's the cadence that I will need to work with Thomas on. Um, but for the purpose of this meeting, we wanted to, you know, brainstorm on what is the voice and the tone and the personality that we want to give the butler. And so um, that's where I need your help to give us input. Um, anything you want to add to that, Thomas? Yeah, sure. So uh, uh, indeed, yes, we, we used to draw a lot of things for Jenkins since few years. So we can say we know a lot about the culture, the culture of Jenkins world and also cloud based team, but uh, uh, all the community around Jenkins. And so uh, today uh, we have a few things that we can dig into. Uh, first of all, yeah, you spoke about the culture of the, of the butler, the tone of voice. Uh, so the idea is uh, to give, to create some um, creative material together uh, to, to decide how we, we can uh, make the communication around Jenkins developers uh, a little bit more fun. Uh, with some drawing and more easy uh, because it's always uh, we know that at commit strip we know that uh, publishing stuff with drawing with cartoons it's always a good way to to uh, to um, I would say to express an ID so uh, that's a good way to uh, uh, even in the in the news feed of uh, Twitter or Facebook or even Instagram or any uh, even in a newsletter uh, 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 a comic strip is always uh, catching the eyes, so that's a good point. So it's a good way to uh, to share an ID. So uh, keeping that in mind, so uh, yeah, the first thing uh, I would like to check today is uh, what kind of tone of voice we would like to do for this communication. Then um, what would, what exactly are we going to create? Uh, I mean, uh, is, are these going to be uh, strips? Uh, what what will be the frequencies? What will be the composition of the strips? How many how many uh, would say the size? How many blocks in the strips? Uh, which characters? Would it be the butler? Uh, uh, the butler is a man. Is a man, of course. Uh, should we include some other people? Woman? Uh, uh, diversity. That's important. And of course, at the end, the process of the creation. How uh, who is going to be involved? That's the uh, so uh, what I have in mind before this uh, meeting. Yeah, so um, so Thomas, uh, I think you and I, we can discuss offline on the, the, the frequency. Okay. Um, but I think for the purpose of this team, let's talk about, you know, what, what you need to help you get started um, to give the butler the personality, right? The tone that you're looking okay. for. Yeah, that would be the main point for today, right? Yeah. So, uh, first of all, I'm, I'm putting that like that. So, uh, the butler is, of course, the, the very first image when we think about Jenkins. Uh, but tell me if I'm wrong, but uh, I, I didn't see a lot of, uh, I would say, story with the butler. I, I mean, uh, I, I saw a lot of uh, stickers, uh, a lot of images, static images, but I, I didn't see uh, even some small comic strips with the butler. Or of, of course, uh, 
without saying about a, a small movie or something. Did I miss something? Uh, mm -hmm. Is there a, somewhere in the story of Jenkins some strips where we can see the butler speaking, in, in fact? Yeah, maybe uh, some marketing materials, for example, for uh, by Cloud Bees. Uh, so historically, we used uh, several themes like Break and Bed. Um, what also did we have? Star Wars, a few other themes. Um, uh, regarding uh, other visuals, uh, uh, for example, uh, there was um, a site, uh, DevOps re Reactions or something like that. Uh, it was closed down a couple of years ago. But okay. it also included a lot of uh, various GIFs and small videos related to Jenkins. Right, but that doesn't really help us uh, determine the um, personality of the butler or serve as a template of prior art, right? That were maybe one of uh, CloudBees marketing com campaigns. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not sure how much they should color what we're doing here. Okay. Okay. So, uh, because uh, if you can at some point find back, uh, or uh, yeah, uh, uh, if you have uh, the history of this kind of uh, thing where we, where we see the butler speaking, it's still interesting. It could be still interesting to see. But otherwise, uh, now we are speaking about uh, uh, giving a, a real personality to the butler. So, uh, uh, if uh, some of you read uh, a bit of, about comic strip, uh, I will uh, I will uh, quote this as an example. So in comic strip, we have four characters. So we have the coder, the sysadmin, the CTO, and the coder, the, the female coder. The, it's, a, it's a front end developer. So each of these characters have, uh, I would say, a, a mindset. So the sysadmin is a little bit more uh, funny. He uh, can be sarcastic. He can be uh, tough sometimes. The CTO is more serious. It is uh, the, the CTO, as we can imagine. Uh, a very uh, expert. The coder will, will do any kind of, uh, uh, sometimes he's very naive, he will do uh, all kind of error, but uh, uh, he has a, a good willingness to do things. And the, and the female, female coder is, uh, is more, uh, I would say, uh, uh, doing a lot of things and uh, always uh, finding a fix, a solution for anything. So if we, if we agree to, first of all, if we agree to use a butler, as uh, in fact uh, a main character of a uh, Jenkins story, uh, yeah, we we need also to give him a, uh, what what is his role exactly? Uh, he's a, he's a guy running Jenkins uh, software, I guess. So um, uh, that would be first. Of, it, it, would it be a, would it? Uh, he's he's a um, he's a developer or a sysadmin or or a DevOps probably. This guy is a butler. I think a, a my opinion would be yeah. that definitely the butler should be used. Okay. Uh, when thinking about the persona of the butler, and yeah. especially the the personas that you mentioned, to yeah. me the butler covers every one of those personas. And oh, okay. I think in the given context of of one, let's say you're going to write five different comic strips, the butler yeah. could be each one of those in a different comic strip. Okay, so. Uh... Uh, of course, you I, mean, yeah. I agree. Okay. I agree with that. Just back to your original question. Um, what if the butler in each one of your comic strips doesn't stay stagnant? One of the things that people love about the butler is, let me see the butler in a swimsuit. Let me see a butler yeah. surfing. Let me see a butler. And what if you play on that in that every single comic strip, butler looks a little different, a little bit of a chameleon. Um, I don't know, it's just an idea. It, it literally never looks the same. But okay. obviously it has the same face, yeah. but is always wearing something different. So kind of the concept that the butler is going to change depending on your needs. It's going to be there. To, if you're a sysadmin, the butler looks very different than if you're a C-level person, than if you're a, right, the butler has, so play off of that. Play off the strength that he's always there when you need him, he's always, anyway, just, okay. I'm just, I like that. I'm just riffing here with you all. I like that. Yeah, that's a good idea. In fact, if we come back to the idea of the butler, uh, at the beginning, we, we think about uh, a serious person who is here to help you. And uh, like the butler in Batman, uh, where uh, this guy is very smart, uh, helping to do a lot of things, but at the end he's kind of, uh, I would say, uh, uh, not very visible. 
is he, he, here to help the sysadmin, the DevOps, the coders, but uh, without uh, being uh, in the light. In fact, he's, he's a bit in the shadow. So uh, this is what uh, I understand at the beginning when with Jenkins, it's not the star of the, of the thing, but it is uh, the, the software and the person who is, who is making everything happen, happening behind the scene, uh, behind the scene in a way. So, uh, but here, the idea is maybe we, we can shed more light on this persona. Yeah, indeed. And uh, so, uh, uh, would it be, uh, for, for me, in, in my opinion, uh, this character, the butler, is always helping another guy. Uh, in itself, he, himself, he's not writing the code. He's not the guy uh, building the software himself. He's helping the other to make everything working, happen, happening, right? So, um, considering this, I think in every every strips, every drawing, he will be interacting with someone, helping him to achieve something. I love all the I, ideas. I think I think they're fantastic, and I think we can make them all or integrate all those ideas. Um, so one thing that Buffy had put in the chat window, Thomas, yeah. is that, um, and I have yet to share this with you and I can share this with you um, offline, but um, once I have more information on it, but um, we're working on a campaign to bring more vibrancy to Jenkins and the community. Okay. And I don't know if you've seen the, um, the uh, Mandalorian, yeah, theme. of course, a bit, not okay. full, uh, month fully, but I, I saw, uh, yeah. Okay, so um, we were thinking that maybe we can integrate the the messaging, the 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 images from that campaign, yeah. um, in with your work, just so that we have a consistency uh, throughout. Yeah. But you know that doesn't take away you know what we're talking about here, which is you know giving him that personality, um, that persona. Okay, good. So uh, if we speak about the persona, I will go, I'm going to ask you also as a, as a, as a Jenkins team and guys. So uh, uh, the, the, the butler is in fact expressing uh, uh, something about the software, about what we are creating here at Jenkins. So uh, clearly, uh, uh, would it be a bit, uh, I would say uh, like, a, like uh, I would say a professor uh, or like a friend? Or like, uh, I would say, uh, maybe a family, yes, or uh, uh, maybe like a, a, a teammate. What will be the relationship between the, the coder, the sysadmin, and the butler? What would be the proximity, in your opinion? I feel like the butler has to um, be very smart, quick-witted, um, okay. and... and um, it's almost, I, I wonder if we could play on the butler not talking, right? It's kind of like behind the scenes, almost like you think you did it, or you, but really the butler did it. Um, I don't know, maybe that would make it a little bit harder. Once you give him a voice, then he's a little, he's a little stuck. Um, I, think he's, I think one of the things that we need to do is lighten him up. We don't want him to be the old guy that's, you know, been around forever um but we want to play on his wisdom too so um i think being very snarky developer centric smart funny not stiff might be the direction we want to go but i'm just okay yeah i i, I think i totally agree I, I i was thinking the same thing in terms of wisdom i guess for me um i kind of see him kind of like you know in the batman batman the movie Mm -hmm. the the butler batman's butler he's he he's not a main character but he he's he has an important role yeah in you know the wisdom the guidance the um in guiding uh the growth of batman right into a man and into this 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 superhero does anybody watch honeymooners Alyssa, i agree with you uh, no no, I don't know. <laughs> see. Okay. It's kind of so, like, uh, yeah, the, the, I mean, maybe the relationship is, um, is kind of like that relationship where there's the person that really knows the right answer, right? 
but and he's trying to get the other people to that and he said he says something and they don't hear him they hear something else they hear so he keeps saying the same thing and then eventually they get it and he's just like okay like and then they take credit themselves for it do you know what i mean like yeah. the relation well this, yeah. this sounds like a fairly negative framing when, when i think of uh, the butler as sort of the 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 colleague the helpful colleague in the background, right? So yeah. uh, I, I got the this like like almost like a two-image comic strip picture in my mind. First scene, the butler standing in front of the room, pointing to a chart that has you know this many broken builds, this many successful builds, and all of that. Okay. Um, and the second picture is one of the people in the room from the first picture who is the actual developer manager ceo um who got the information from the butler standing in front of an audience behind the podium audience applauds and the butler sort of peeks into the picture from behind the curtain and sees yeah this is this is what i helped do so right never the guy out in front Mm. But he helps people, he provides the information, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. The guy who is, in fact, uh, uh, yeah, making run everything behind the scene. Yeah, behind the curtain. Okay. So, uh, so do you guys think, like, humor should play a big role in the comic? Well. For me, parody has been a big, big, had a big part in the Jenkins project as a whole, right? We, we are willing to play against all sorts of themes and all sorts of characters from, from current space. So I think humor needs to be there and a little bit of laughing at the, the current cultural context. Yeah, and anyway, it's coming strip. Uh, yeah, so why don't we just keep it as is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, in fact, uh, uh, it's not the first time I'm uh, speaking uh, with, uh, I would say, uh, a corporate world, uh, even if, of course, you, you are such, uh, you, you, maybe you don't see yourself as a part of a big corporate thing, but still, uh, uh, when we are dealing with brand, branding, uh, corporate branding, we, we, uh, we need to be uh, picky with how we, we deal with humor, because, of course, uh, we don't want to, uh, to take any risk to do some... Uh, uh, bad uh, buzz or anything so uh, uh, of course uh, we l we learned in fact uh, the hard way with uh, commit strip sometime the hard way how uh, what are the limits the boundaries of what people can accept even for uh, some people like us who are not uh, tied to any company uh, so of course uh, uh, it's easy to avoid the the, the problems like uh, you don't speak about uh, uh, you avoid any uh, racism, uh, political, uh, religion, uh, all these things. We, of, of course, avoid that. Uh, that's kind of easy. Uh, and, uh, but uh, the most difficult part is uh, sometimes when uh, you want to, uh, to make a joke about a situation and some people are, are even a technology and some people can take, take, take it personally. I have an example with a uh, flash action scripts some of you probably know uh, about that knew about that so one <laughs> a few years ago i've done a, a, a strips uh, uh, where where i was making fun about flash developers we are we are basically uh, dying in a way and some people were were very uh, feeling attacked about the fact that i was making fun of flash developers and uh, even if uh, that's not a big deal and people are already doing other things and action scripts so uh, that's why we always try to find a good, uh, uh, to do some real humor, not too much corporate humor, which is sometimes boring, but not to be too risky. So, but of course, for me, uh, the, the comic strip, the comic strip format, the comic format will uh, most of the time come with, with uh, uh, a situation and at the end in the last block, you see uh, a funny thing. So you have one, two, three, four blocks where you expose a situation and the last block is something with a surprise, uh, something funny or very surprising. This is how it works. So uh, uh, in each strip that we, we wrote, and we, we have written in the past, we try to have a, a surprise at the end. And sometimes it is humor, 
sometimes it's more surprise or just uh, uh, something uh, unusual. But uh, of course, I will try to play with uh, a basic uh, basis of humor. But uh, okay. It, it would sure be nice to have a comic strip about all the companies that take aim at Jenkins, yes. the open source project. That yes. would be, we don't have to I was to just going to say that, Marky. <laughs> right here, man. I, like I was seeing like the start of each of the strips is Jenkins reading a paper, a blog. Okay. And and actually reading like what someone Mark's saying no Mark come on, it's, and it's actually reading some negative press about Jenkins and then and then we uh, address it. I think we would really miss the mark if if the comic strip seems too self fulfilling, too self um, too safe, and too like oh Jenkins is the hero always. That's boring. Like that's yeah. literally that's boring. So. It doesn't have to be that we do bad press, but why not? Let's get out on a limb. Mark's like, oh, uh, I, I think. I, so I'm the kidding. reality, the, yeah. the reality for me yeah. in thinking about this comic is we're using this as a vehicle to further the project. I think the idea of what this should encompass, in my opinion, is to make the current set of contributors, maintainers, volunteers feel good about what they're doing as well as also using it as a vehicle to sort of not call out, not point out, but just say, hey, we realize you're, look, you're coming after us and, and this is our way to address it. We don't have to write a negative blog post about company A doing this, but we can just almost like, I don't want to throw stones at somebody, but I want to mm -hmm. throw a little nerf, a nerf pebble at them, if, I, if that makes sense and say, Hey, I realize you're coming after me, company A, but we're open source project. And here's our little way to be funny about it. And I think that would make people laugh. I think that would get a lot of traction. And at the end of the day, I think it would make people gravitate towards the project. Okay. In fact, I, I, I'm just a bit uh, discovering or learning something about uh, how you, you feel about uh, Jenkins. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, I, I, didn't, I did not realize that in some case you had what uh, some negative press or what exactly is this feeling in fact what what happened exactly you you had some negative pe people uh, criticizing uh, Jenkins without any so yeah yeah so what what happens oftentimes is a company that is not open source okay will take aim at Jenkins and say how bad Jenkins is and and we fix this problem that Jenkins okay. has okay. and come over to us and pay for our product and you won't have that problem. But okay. what misses, what, what gets missed there is the fact that Jenkins is an open source project. So there's going to be flaws with everything because we are all volunteers. Yeah. And what, when companies that are a paid product and have no open source take aim at Jenkins, it's a bad look for them. But some people don't, see the true vision of that narrative they follow it and this would be using the comic strip would be the comic strip would be a way for us to sort of say hey we recognize you but we're not going to be negative about it we're going to have fun with it okay understood because uh, uh yeah of course i know jenkins is an open source uh, effort like a lot of software in the world uh do you feel there is some specific uh, targeting to Jenkins uh, comparing to other soft uh, open source de de open source technologies uh, no, some, some paid even some paid uh, software is comparing themselves to Jenkins Jenkins so think about Jenkins is the world's most widely used CI yeah. server or uh, right and so it's gonna have um, companies real small you know companies that have CI automation tools that are comparing themselves to Jenkins and taking shots at Jenkins. And so because we're used by the world, it's gonna, I think we, we're a little bit more of an open target or Jenkins is an open target. And so certainly any company that's trying to sell CI automation is gonna take a shot at Jenkins. They're gonna say, mm. they're, they're not even gonna mention the fact that Jenkins is free. They're gonna compare themselves to Jenkins. They're gonna compare their paid product to the free Jenkins and not even mention the fact that and, and so they might, yeah. Uh, okay. And they also, they also incorrectly highlight um, 
where companies use Jenkins in a bad way. So you can, Jenkins is super powerful. And so if you use it wrong, you can really get yourself into trouble, right? It's got, it's got all the rope that you can hang yourself with, right? And, and some competitors might use that as a negative. It's really a, it's a powerful positive, but they can also, you know, so I don't know, Oleg, if I've given the right overview of the competition and why and how they're poking at Jenkins. Yeah, uh, that's a pretty good overview. I think I, I put in the chat also, I think community should be something that you use as a personality, a community developer, whether you make that one of the people in your comic strip, not just a developer, but a community member. Community members are different because they help Jenkins, right? They're, and so yeah. DB, whoever DB was said, um, he said it was Daniel too Beck. narrow. Daniel Beck said it was too narrow, but I wasn't sure what that feedback was for, yeah. but. Well, you could, uh, I like the idea. Yeah, we okay, could go, uh, go all nuclear and for example, add KK to the comics. Though uh, you would just need to ask him about that. Uh, but yeah. Oh, hell fun. yeah. I do like the idea of community in this, especially if we said, choose a random person. And if you got that person's approval to use them in the comic, that would make somebody feel good. Like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm, I used this project and they used me in their comic strip. And like, that makes people feel good. And when other people see the good feeling, people want to gravitate. I think that what I'm trying to get out of this, if we use this as a way, uh, funny and mm -hmm. not so serious, we're going to get more contributors. And the more contributors we get is where we drive the long-term, you know, longevity of this project. That's where I'm sort of looking at it. Yeah. Thanks, Marky. To, to, uh, to point it on something also I wanted to discuss about the, the target of uh, this. Uh, I mean, who is going to read that and what are the goals that we need to achieve uh, creating all these materials, these creative materials. So uh, uh, if we, for example, if we create comic strips that go on Twitter, on the social networks, on newsletters, that will uh, basically, first of all, reach the, the community itself and know the, not the people outside of the community. So what is the purpose? Do you want to bring more people in the community to increase the number of contributors or to increase the, uh, the, the number of people uh, who are doing contribution inside the community already? What, or maybe the both, but uh, what would be I the- I say both. Yeah, yeah, from the inside and the outside of the community. I think, you know, if I had to pick one goal of this, it would be Jenkins Pride. So um, you take enough hits, you start believing Jenkins is the old man. Um, so the community in and of itself wants to yeah. be prideful um, too. Um, community, which will increase community contributions. Getting people outside of Jenkins uh, to adopt Jenkins, I think might be a, a stretch for a comic strip. I don't know if you guys agree, but um, I think it's, it's part of, of changing the brand of the way we all look at Jenkins, changing it to be more modern, fresh, funny, um, strong, opinionated. Um, Edgy. Yeah, and you feel better about this community that you're part of. You feel better about it because it's, it's, you don't believe it's the old man sitting in the corner. So a I retention. Think that's a, that's a, yeah, go ahead, Mark, Marky. I think that's a persona that people have with Jenkins is they assume Butler and they assume aging. Yep. And maybe that's the thing that has to be addressed. We have to assume that the Butler is not old. The butler's mm. just wise, and wise does not mean age. Yes, in fact, uh, uh, the the basic uh, visual of the butler, uh, in fact, has uh, the eyes closed more or less. Uh, I don't I don't know if you see what I mean, but the eyes of the butler are kind of closed uh, by default uh, in the in the. But when he, when you open the eyes of the butler, and you you can make him a little bit younger. It's a, it's a totally different persona, in fact. Uh, so uh, that would be interested, in fact, yes, to maybe um, uh, if you want to refresh, to make a little bit more modern, uh, to to have a younger butler, maybe. Uh, but that's 
I, I don't want to 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 do some to say uh, AD is a problem because it's uh, it's also an issue in uh, in our industry that uh, people who are too old uh, sometimes are are seen as uh, uh, <laughs> Too old, uh, even if they are only 35 years old, like me. <laughs> so, but yeah, uh, I w maybe we can make him a little bit more fresh, younger, and uh, funny. That will that would change uh, the the brand. Yeah, if it is, I understand one also of your concern here to uh, to refresh a bit the branding. Because um, okay, interesting. So. Uh, um, I'll, uh, I'm taking note about that, so it will, it will be something that we'll, uh, we'll of course, uh, dig into. So if we have a younger or a fresher uh, butler, uh, uh, like, uh, yeah, doing some help, helping the, the coder and the sending to make everything, and uh, that, that, that will uh, definitely uh, work. Okay, so uh, you know what I can I just add one more thing? Yeah, of course. The, um, the vision I'm here to of the hear. butler. Uh, one of the things in, uh, that I think is the butler is the butler is a vision, and we are all that vision. Okay. So if you, it would be kind of cool to think if I'm the butler, Oleg is the butler. At some point through transitioning, we are all the butler. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like. Uh, okay. Good. Yeah. That's a good idea. In fact, that. Uh, in fact, we are all the butler in a way. Uh, okay. So the butler could be the butler could be old. The butler could yeah, be could be young. transgender. Yeah. The, 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 we do all of these things. We're really addressing sort of social stigmatas, but the yeah. butler is everybody. Mm. Understood. Okay, uh, interesting, yes. Or is everywhere, which is slightly different, Marky. Because the but because we are all the butler. Um, I mean, ultimately, the butler is a tool that makes our lives easier, right? Mm. It's, a, it's an augmentation. So for me, it's more that the butler is literally everywhere. Like everywhere I look, oh, shit, I didn't know the butler was there. Oh, my God, it's there, too. Mm. It's... <laughs> Right, so it's slightly different than what you're saying, um, but it's similar. Um, that's but the more... butler is in you. The butler is in and you. So when be... you're doing something, like I'm writing code and I'm trying to get a build to pass and I'm like, oh my God, I'm stuck. Butler shows up. And you're like, oh, wait a minute, I got it. And then you're like, I got it. And then the butler's gone. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like uh, it. Yeah. <laughs> so for, for, uh, yeah. <laughs> we so a, we're not lacking ideas that's for sure yeah we have a no i totally get side. it I, I get it <laughs> okay excellent so um anyway yes this butler will uh will be will be uh doing some fun but uh by the situation but uh uh it will be of course uh, probably uh, not uh not sarcastic uh no it, it's uh, some some somebody who help who is here to help you you help yourself. You uh, you make yourself better, probably something like this. Uh, okay, so I think uh, that uh, that give me uh, uh, the idea of what would be this tone of voice, this persona. So uh, uh, fine. So I think uh, uh, it would be also the the moment to uh, to. In fact, uh, now we are going to draw a persona, a, per a character. Uh, it will be in position that you you did not see him before maybe sometime he will be uh, uh standing up but sometime he could be uh, uh sit down or maybe with uh, with the legs we can see so we we will have a new way to see this character because right now we are, we are always seeing him like very static uh and to see him a bit alive even if it is a, a, in a strip not a video uh, we it will be it will immediately bring some also a, some i would say proximity to these characters so uh i would suggest that we we can draw him in different also position uh in in a situation where that we don't use to see him uh even coding i don't know even coding at the computer like that with uh in in a sofa or somewhere it will it will bring some more proximity but uh okay so i think uh i understood your uh your feeling. Maybe uh, one uh, also question um, to be sure. 
uh, we are in 2020. Uh, we are Jenkins is here since a long time. Uh, we know that uh, the team is evolving, everything. So uh, uh, I would say your vision, you say this is a vision. Uh, what is uh, the vision of Jenkins in the next years in terms even of, uh, apart from the Butler itself, but uh, uh, what, are we, what are we trying to achieve? I probably don't have any, I don't expect big ideas or a big speech, but uh, uh, is there something that you have in mind when you think about the, the near future of uh, Jenkins? Yeah, there are some discussions in works about uh, the future. So next week we will have a contributor summit in Brussels okay. just to discuss uh, what would uh, be features we would like to put on Jenkins roadmaps, etc. Okay. And uh, I think it would be the best to discuss it uh, in a few weeks uh, so that uh, we have a vision which is somehow signed off uh, by the community. Because okay. yeah, right now, I guess everybody on this call uh, can uh, tell uh, their own story. Uh, but if we talk about uh, a larger vision, which would be communicated by the community, uh, we didn't have uh, updates recently. So the last uh, vision uh, communicated was in uh, 2018, uh, this shifting gears blog post by KK. Okay. But I'm not sure whether you want to base uh, the comics on on it because uh, yeah, since that uh, the community evolved a bit and changed the priorities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if it's not a pressing topic, I would rather suggest uh, to put uh, it on hold maybe for one, two weeks uh, so that uh, we come up uh, with a, a vision uh, in the community. Okay, that's really interesting mm -hmm. to get. In fact, is a, uh, some input uh, insight on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. And um, and also, uh, uh, we can uh, we can speak in the strips about uh, uh, I would say uh, any uh, story that you have in mind uh, because of course uh, at some point when we okay we we have an idea with a persona okay fine then after we will need to discuss about the actual stories that we are telling telling into this uh, this uh, strips <laughs> so. Uh, Probably not today, but uh, if you can talk, if you have some, uh, I would say some stories, anecdotes, something that you remember about Jenkins, that's always interesting to uh, to share. You can probably, uh, it's always uh, difficult to find some time to do this small task, side task, but if at some point you can, if you, have, you want to write it down, it's always interesting to share even the small uh, thing that you remember about Jenkins, about the story that you, you met, yeah, when you, when you you are breaking the 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 release or screwing everything or uh, on the contrary you save something or uh, yeah any kind of story is interesting to 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 for the in the creation engine here yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, so you can take some notes at some point and uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll put it on the document yes for example here um, and also um, we'll uh, we'll discuss when we. When we create, so we'll discuss also with uh, uh, Alisa when we create these strips and uh, uh, what I do on commit strip for your um, information. So I have basically three, um, three uh, sources of stories. First of all, it's my, my team and my work. I can see when I, I'm working on a project, I'm encountering a, a, funny, uh, a funny situation. So I'm taking notes and I know that in few, uh, Later on commit strip, I can relate, relate that, okay? Then uh, there is of course the readers. Readers are sharing things that happen on, the, on their life, okay? So uh, same for you, uh, people around Jenkins can sometimes share things. And of course the last thing is uh, news because uh, it's not only about uh, our day-to-day -day life, it's also about the new thing on Jenkins, the, the new, uh, the, what, what is new? So uh, this is the three, the three way we will find some story to tell. So uh, uh, sometimes we can focus on the new uh, version. For example, yes, yeah, there is a, a new version of something, a new product or something, and we want to, to make fun of that and relate that. Or just, or maybe more simpler, sometimes we just uh, relate a fun story about what happened in, uh, in the past. Okay, so uh, I think uh, so far that, uh, what will be the yeah uh, yeah the, the next step will be yeah uh, we'll discuss also uh, Alisa how we can on the I would say on, 
if, if it is once every month or once every two months, how we, we submit the scenario. So uh, we'll discuss about it uh, later. Yeah. Um, I add uh, also uh, in my notes, yes, uh, the characters with the butler. So uh, uh, even if we don't do a lot of strips, maybe if we, don't, uh, if we do uh, five strips, uh, that's always interesting to, to have uh, recurring characters. Uh, so uh, probably uh, uh, here we have two options. So um, of course we can create uh, characters uh, from scratch, people who does not exist, or people uh, inspired from comic strip world, from comic strip uh, characters. Or it can also be you, you guys, uh, some of you, but one of people, one, one of you, uh, some people, uh, yeah, Kiki is also very uh, iconic, but uh, it could not be probably, uh, but uh, uh, so we need to decide also which kind of character will uh, interact with uh, Butler. So I think, I think diversity is important to all of us. Um, yeah. So when you create these characters, if you can keep that in mind, um, that would be great. Okay, so pro anyway, probably it would be a woman and a man, uh, and a man, because there, there won't be a lot of characters. But uh, uh, I would suggest that we we stick to uh, two, three other personages, uh, characters that we uh, two, three other characters that will uh, uh, will uh, we recognize every time. Because even if we do that on the long term, that's good that we we are still the same person, uh, the same characters. Okay, so I'll probably work with one one woman and one man, and one of one of them will be uh, uh, probably uh, uh, Asian or uh, uh, black, and uh, the other will be white, and that will that will work. Okay, fine. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, in a small strip, you don't know if the person is a is a sysadmin or a developer. Or you don't really mind. But uh, in, in commit strip, of course, after 1,500 strips, you know more or less that there is a coder, a sysadmin, a CTO. But even that's not a big deal. But for us, when we write the story, it's interesting to, to keep this in mind. Yeah. OK. Uh, so I have the tone of voice ID. Uh, I took the notes. Uh, the character that I think will, will have the butler, like uh, uh, not the star of the show, but the guy who is always there. Uh, to make things work. Now, uh, Alisa, yeah, the next step will be to decide uh, what we do exactly in terms of, uh, uh, of uh, yeah, content. How how long we do that? How 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 many we do that? Uh, yeah. With which frequency? So we can discuss uh, at uh, another moment. Mm -hmm. And uh, but okay, I think I have enough to to start uh, to write story because uh, I think the. Uh, anyways, uh, how we would work on that, that uh, you can bring some stories, uh, you can write stories, you can share an anecdote. Probably most of you uh, would be shy, you won't, you, won't, uh, you, would, you won't share anything, but if you can, that's always good to, to share even a small thing. I can sometimes tell you that I'm, I'm receiving ideas from my readers, sometimes it's only a line. But that's enough sometimes to write, a, to start a story, in fact. Uh, oh, something fun happened yesterday, that, that, and that's okay. Some, sometimes I receive a well written scenario, but uh, uh, yeah, even a small line, it's, uh, it's always uh, interesting. So yeah. uh, take mm -hmm. that, keep, keep, keep this in mind in your day to day work when you see something uh, funny or if you encounter something funny, uh, you take a note, you put it on your mail, or, and, or, and then we'll, you'll share with me. And then after, uh, I'm writing the final scenario, uh, the final, uh, yeah. I'm submitting to you because the key thing is to, to validate the scenario, in fact. When, it is, when this is validated, the drawing itself is not a big deal because most of the time uh, uh, Etienne is doing the, uh, the layout and it's working well. So, but uh, the, main, uh, the main challenge is uh, to find the, the good story and the good text, okay? Yeah. So uh, for that also, we could be collaborative. We can, sh I'll share the, the thing and then you, you'll, uh, you'll, tell, you'll say okay or not and we'll uh, iterate and then we will validate, okay? Okay, um, so I guess the way I understand this then, so um, Thomas, you and I will talk after, yeah. uh, sometime after this meeting yeah. um, on the, the frequency um, yeah. and then 
you'll go back and based on the information that we've provided, then you'll brainstorm, you'll come up with something, and then you'll we'll bring this it back to this team. Yeah, and exactly. for this team to validate and review. Yeah. So uh, in fact, uh, right now we did not define a, especially a, a topic or something for the, the first trip uh, the, or the, the because. It, that is the first one, and of course, uh, uh, I'll think about it. Uh, probably, it will be uh, one of the common thing about the, uh, the the CI world. We know, uh, yeah, testing issue, uh, uh, raking, uh, screwing uh, software. But yeah, this kind of is obvious. But uh, yeah, I'll think about it. And uh, but yeah, if again you have some other uh, uh, ideas, so uh, I will read uh, read also the, the chat. You are all writing things. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, will, I will check that. Yeah, maybe you have, uh, if you have something on Slack, you have a Slack channel or? We mostly use uh, Gitter, uh, yeah, but okay. uh, if, if Slack is more comfortable, we can uh, uh, find the channel, for example, within Continuous Delivery Foundation Slack. No, but uh, in fact, I'm. Uh, uh, I'm going. I can come to your uh, tool. No problem. We don't need a Slack channel if we have a guitar. Uh, that's also. But uh, okay. Um, fine. I will uh, read that and the, the the URL. But fine. Okay. I think. Uh, uh, yeah. The next step will be that uh, I'm discussing with Alisa, and then uh, we'll come back to you with first scenarios, and then uh, every year and then we'll uh, uh, we'll submit some scenarios. And you you'll vote on it, and uh, so uh, that will work. So I or I have uh, did it in the past for other brands, but not for uh, uh, brands like uh, open source like yours with a lot of communities. Uh, but so that will work anyway. It'll be fun. Yeah, exactly. I'm uh, very happy to do that because I think uh, it's a good way to uh, to uh, involve the community as well. And also, uh, uh, we don't start from scratch. We have a character. And uh, making it, making the character fun and uh, building on that is a uh, is a good idea. So let's do it. Let's do it. Great. Okay. Awesome. Right. So thanks for your time. I think I'm done uh, for my questions. So I think it's enough to start the work. So uh, Alisa will keep in touch by email, yes. and uh, next week we will uh, um, we'll start the work. Yeah. Okay. Sounds great. Thanks so okay. much for your time, Thomas. That's me. Thanks, everybody, and speak to Thanks you soon. Everybody. Then. Thanks, Thanks, Thomas. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, -bye. Have a Bye. good day, everybody. Bye-bye. The video will be published maybe in uh, three or four hours. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye.